This video is about the unboxing of this Phantom 4 clone I uh, ordered from Wish.com. So I hope you enjoy this video. And also, I am using a new editing program, so please bear with me as I get better with it. Thank you and welcome back to the channel. The drone has a 4K camera, but it shoot mostly close to 1080 and it's real nice and you will see the shots at the end of the video the camera I am using right now I also recorded and ordered off wish.com also you will see later a little tripod that I will be using from now on with some of the videos so yes I have been enjoying the wish.com site just bear in mind it does takes three to four weeks to get to some of the things you do order now as you can see I had to assemble this drone and this drone is approximately a third of the size of the original Phantom 4 drone and it also weighs about a third it comes with a battery that only allows you to fly of anywhere from about seven to nine minutes I would be ordering a battery that would give me longer flight time pretty much double it off Amazon my battery was a 450 3.7 milliamp battery So it looks like this way I might need me some tweezers. Deal with these little bitty screws and my big fingers, honey. This is my first flight with the drone, so after a little reading, I decided to take it out. You also have to download the app that also helps you fly this drone. You can fly it further if you do use the app more so than the controller that came with it. As me right now, I am using the controller. I haven't yet got the hang of using the app. I have never flown a drone by using an applet to fly it. You're supposed to be able to get three tenths of a mile if you do use the app. I would say with the joystick I was able to probably fly about a football field and a half under control with it. And I would keep flying and testing it further. Here you get a chance to see some of the flights I did at in front of the house and also I went to the softball and baseball field complex to test it out out in the open trying to get the hang of it now this drone does have some nice features you have an altitude hole <clears throat> you do have a waypoint setting you have a headless mode and to really fly good as I found out later when I got the second time I flew it at the softball complex and baseball complex you need to put it on a hundred percent especially if there's any wind on the inside you can use the 30 percent and fly it okay so i hope you enjoyed this unboxing and i will see you later and don't forget if you're new to this channel feel free to crush 
that subscribe button and see you out there. Out.